Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Password Pusher on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. So, a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over our home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. Hello, just wanted to pop in here real quick and tell you about your community options in the Big Bear community. You can join our discourse, which is our form, or you can join our Discord. Um, so join those both. And when you join, ask questions, answer questions if you can. I'm really trying to build a helpful and supportive tech community. So let's get back to your video. So this is what I'll be installing today, Password Pusher. It makes it to where you can put your password into this program, and then you can generate a secret link, and then give it to somebody that you want to show the password to. Once it exhausts its uh, views, um, you can uh, it, it goes ahead and deletes off the database. Um, this is what it looks like. So you can expire this push and delete after three days, and then the views, like I said, uh, you can put your pa a password up here. Um, and generate the, uh, the a link. So that's what we will be installing today on Casa OS. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Casa OS, and uh, this is on GitHub. So there will be linked on YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over the search and type password. And then now I'm gonna come down here to the Docker and Bose. So the CosOS app name is called Big Bear P PW Push, and then the services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear P PW Push, and then the container name is going to be called Big Bear P PW Push, and that's so Docker does not have to uh, generate a random name. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the uh, re restart policy is set to unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason and not try to restart, but fails any other reason, uh, then it will try to restart. And then the environment variables down here, the da a database URL, this is how it connects to the da a database, and that's down here. Um, the username, uh, the password, uh, the, uh, the host, the port, and then the database name, and that should rhyme with down here, the MariaDB. So now the password expiration set settings, you can set these, these are defaults. And then the volumes, so on the host side is uh, data, app data, app ID, which is dynamically generated from the name up here. And then storage, so this is on the host, and then this is on the container, opt, a, pa a password pusher, and storage, and it's read or write. So the ports over here, so now 5100 is on the host side. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it inside of the Cosmos app set uh, settings. So... um this is the host, and then this is the container side. So the left is the host, and the right is the container. Do not change the container side. Networks, so Big Bear a PW Push net, a Network, and that's so this service right here can connect with the service name to uh, to, to the da uh, database down here. So now the XCosOS information to explain this app to, uh, to, uh, to the app store, the environment variables, the volumes, the ports, and then now we're on to the next service. So Big Bear, P PW Push DB, and this is MariaDB. So the container name, so Docker does not have to generate a random name. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. It's MariaDB. And then the Docker image tag. The, the ports are 3306, and that's on the host. And then on the container is 3306. The environment variables down here, so the user, the password, the database, and then the random or root password is set to yes, so it's uh, generated. So now the volumes on the host side 
is data app data uh the uh, the uh the uh, the app ID that's the variable, so it's generated from the name and uh, the name up there. So MySQL, this is on the host side, and then on the container side is var lib MySQL. Networks down here, so it's put in the same network. So Big Bear P PW Push Network. The X cost to its information to explain the environment variables and the volumes. And then now we're going to define the network. So Big, uh, Big Bear P PW Push Network. And then the driver is set to bridge. Co uh, the cost OS specific information to explain the architectures that the Docker image supports. And that's up here. Um, so now that's AMD64 and ARM64. The main service is set to Big Bear PW Push. And that rhymes with the first service right here. So now the description, the tagline, the developer of the actual Docker image, the author of this Docker Compose, the icon being used, and the thumbnail, the title that's shown on the App Store, the category so people can go to the category select box and then select Big Bear Cost OS. And then and now you can see all the apps coming from Big Bear Cost OS. Uh, the, uh, the port map. Uh, so this is on the host side, so 5100, and that runs with the left side up here of that service that's set right here, the, uh, the main service, and then it's getting the uh, host port of 5100. So that's a little bit about the Docker Impose. Hello, I just wanted to pop in here real quick and tell you how much I appreciate all my subscribers and also you watching this video. So um, it takes a lot of time to make all these videos and also maintaining all the open source projects that go along with all these videos. So um, like Big Bear Cost OS, Big Bear Video Assets, Big Bear Scripts, they all take almost daily maintenance. So um, if you would, please consider donating. Very much appreciate it. And it helps me continue to be able to help as many people as possible be able to do all this. So I, uh, my goals in each one of these videos and each one of the things that I make is to make it extremely easy for anybody to do it. And uh, it takes a lot of time to make that ha happen. So um, if you would, please consider donating. Uh, and also you can join the Big Bear Club and continue to, uh, donating. So um, thank you very much. and. Let's get back to your vi video. So I'm going to start on my cost OS now. I'm going to go to the app store and I'm going to go to the search right here. Password pusher. Nicey right here. You can click on it. So now you can install. Continue in background. And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, and getting it up with Docker Impose underneath because this is using the Docker engine. So now we got it installed and it looks to be up and running. I'm going to go into my Dazzle right here and I'm going to go to the PW push. And now you can see it is doing the migrations and it looks like it's working. And then the DB over here, so it looks like it's working too. So we got it successfully up and running. So now I'm going to go over where your files are located for Password Pusher. I'm going to go in the Files app in Cost OS and App Data, Big Bear PW Push. And then you'll see the MySQL directory, and then you'll see the storage directory. And then uh, you, ca you can also see the MySQL, like I said. Um, so you can go out of there and you can go up to the check mark and download, copy, cut, delete, and then cancel. Um, you can also go, go over here and download, copy, path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. So that's where your files are located for Password Pusher in Casa OS. So now I'm going to start on my cost OS and I'm going to go up to the top right right here to the vertical dots. Click it. You can open any of the web UI. You can set some tips and you can come down here to the edit button. You can put something in like testing and then save. And then now it will reload the container and say password pusher is okay. If you go back in there, tips, you can see it did save. 
You can go over to settings right here, and you can see the services up here. So Big Bear P P P PW Push, and then Big Bear PW Push DB. Uh, you can see them both. You can go uh, c come down here, and you can edit the ho host port if you'd like, and change it to fifty one zero one. And then you can come up here and change the web UI port. And now, once you do that, you can press the save button. So that's just an example of how you can cha uh, change it from this app settings here. Um, you can also ch uh, change things over here. A lot, I like the Docker image tag, but I would not recommend changing the DB tag at all. Stick with the sa uh, same one. You can wait for updates from Big Bear Cost OS as well. Um, so you can go in the terminal logs up here, click it, and now we're in the password pusher service. And then um, logs right here, you can see the logs. This is great for debugging. Um, so this gets in the container, and then you can cat, uh, cat something out, like um, cat, catty file. So that works. And then I'm going to exit out of here. You can export the Docker Impose in a formatted file for Cost OS right here. You can also X out of there. So you can go up to the top right again. You can check for updates from Big Bear Cost OS right here. You can also uninstall the app. And now when you uninstall the app, you can also uh, decide if you want to delete the user data that was in the files. So, so you check mark that and you press install or you uncheck mark it and just delete the container itself and keep the files. So cancel. You can also uh, uh, go and restart the container. Uh, you can power off and on the con container with the power button right here. So that's a little bit about the app settings. So now I'm going to go to the app and show you the works. So um, you can come up here to the top, top right and open in the web UI. You can also just click on the icon right here. Click it. So now we're in here so we can type our super secret password. And then you can also change the, the expiration dates on it. You can ch change how many views you want it to expire in. You can also, uh, 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 th this helps avoid chat systems and URL scanners for eating up views. And also uh, uh, this allows the user to, to delete the push once retrieved. You can also put a passphrase on it as well. Um, if we do that, uh, you can also generate a password. I'm going to go ahead and push it. So you get a QR code right here. You can print and share it. You also get a URL right here, and you can ch uh, change the language. You can co uh, copy it right here. And then now you can go ahead and open up a new tab and go to it, and you can click here to, uh, to proceed. You can put in your super secret uh, passphrase. So I'll just put in password and then go. And now you can see that you can see your pa uh, password right here that you just sh uh, shared with that person. You can also delete this link uh, now and co uh, copy to clipboard. So if you delete the link, It'll come up with this and then delete. And now it's gone. So that's how Password Pusher works. So I just went over step by step on getting Password Pusher working on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. Uh, there's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.